Alright, in this video today we're going to show you how to um, change the um, email addresses or add a new email address within GoDaddy and also send a carbon copy to an alternate email address. So we're going to go to www.godaddy.com click on my account. I'm going to use a customer's account right now. Um, type in your password login. From here you're going to want to click on to visit my account section at the top here and in the email address you're going to want to click launch on your email manager. From here we could create a new email address so I will create justin at and set up a password. This tab underneath is where you're going to do your carbon copy, etc. So, and show additional options. You can pick your email plan if you have multiple email plans. This one only has the regular email plan, free emails, or the email that has 10 unlimited email addresses. So, you can make this a catch all account, meaning that's going to catch anything that has similar to uh, the email address that you're making. But we could hit send copy to. and put it here so add an extra email address and then just hit create also to remove it to remove your carbon copy you would just go into the email and well, it has to probably set up so let's take a look at one of the other ones see so I'm looking at store at publogrande.org send a copy to we could remove that here so that's how you add and remove this bullpen for a little bit, usually a few minutes, and then it's active and live to go. Um, we could test it by going to login.secureserver.net, type in your email, type in your password, see if it's been set up. Let's see if it's set up. So. I don't believe it is, but it doesn't look like it is, but that that's how you add it. It takes it takes a little bit for it to actually uh activate, so um we could refresh to see if it has been set up or not, but uh, it looks like it is set up, so let's refresh this. Refresh. Type in password. Bam. So now let's do a compose and do a test to phonehousegroup.net test. Test of email. Hit send. So the email has been set up. Testing to see if it's received. Yep, it's received. So that's how you do it. 